The Texas Education Agency is requiring districts to offer in-person learning as an option. Now it's up to each district to decide which teachers will continue to work virtually and who will be teaching in person. As KXAN investigator Aaron Cargill reports, the Leander ISD just told its teachers how to make it plans for that decision. Good evening. Today, the district explained to faculty during a live webinar they're working on creating new job postings for virtual teachers that teachers would then have to officially apply for. The problem is the district doesn't know how many of those positions are needed because parents have not yet submitted their decision for in-person or virtual learning. The district did not say what will happen if more teachers want to work virtually than the number needed. The question is, well, they still have a job. That issue was not addressed. The district said it did not have time to answer our direct questions today. They simply directed us to the webinar to listen with everyone else. Here's what LISD's chief academic officer had to say. We will absolutely be um, working with your principals who will be seeking out those people who uh, desire uh, or, you know, have, have built up a skill set around virtual learning maybe during the spring. They found, you know, there was tech savvy people that really emerged and and felt like they really in, you know, enjoyed that that method of delivery. The district did say teachers can go ahead and request what's called an accommodation with human resources to teach virtually. The district also said it is trying to be compassionate with their decisions, but at the end of the day, it's still looking like it is going to be an actual application process. Also, a lot of questions are being asked about substitute teachers. Leander ISD said they've already been reaching out to their pool of subs saying, welcome back. We are going to need you to be ready and available. Back to you. The Austin ISD is closed this week and still developing their plans. The Brown Rock ISD said it will be announcing its plans for the fall semester after a board meeting coming up on Monday night.